Give me your 13 bucks. Can I take your hat? Huh? Huh? Well, I'm going to skip on your face. No! No! Wow. A 30 foot drop. I landed face first. And I survived. And I survived. And I'm indestructible. I'm indestructible. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. You look. I'm indestructible. No, 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 no. I'm telling you. I'm indestructible. I'm indestructible. Okay, never mind. Looks like I can die. What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Jesse. Welcome for another Match 25 Mile Rank Match. And today, we have my second nominee of Game of the Year. First and foremost, the beginning clip was just a small little taste on what you can see on my second channel. The annotation above, link is in the description. If you haven't already, please go on ahead and subscribe. So, uh, I have the Ravens going up against the Patriots, and the Ravens are one solid team. Very good offensively and def defensively. I don't know as far as real life goes, but as far as Madden goes, definitely a very, very good team. Going up against one of the better offenses in the game, you know, Gronkowski is just a monster as you see him picking up the catch right there. Tom Brady, who I believe in my opinion is the greatest quarterback of all time, uh, you know, just deadly. Threads the needle, puts the ball on the money majority of the time, and you know, one thing that I don't have to worry about, which I don't go up against too often, is I'm going up against the pocket QB. A lot of teams that I'm going up against usually have a mobile QB. The Chiefs, the Niners, the Seahawks, the Eagles. You know, a, a lot of people uh, rather have mobile QB. So it's not too often I go up against a, a team where I can know that he's going to stay in the pocket all game. Right there was a very important play. Gronkowski gets injured. And he's unable to return. So he's out for the rest of the game. And that right there is a huge, huge boost of momentum for us. Considering he's possibly the, the best tight end in the game. Oh, beautiful wraparound right there by uh, Elderman. You know, right here you see he's out for the game. And that right there is huge. I don't have to worry about him. He's a monster. He's a big target. Good route running tight end. Which is not going to be on the field. So that's huge for me. So offensively, I am starting Taylor over Flacco. Just, you know, same reason why I go up against mobile QBs. The same reason why I want a mobile QB. You know, it makes things a lot more easier to be able to uh, move the ball. In my opinion, move the ball downfield. Uh, for the most part, Taylor can pretty much make majority of the throws Flacco can make. And he also can run outside the pocket. I can also do read options, uh, QB wraps. But my opponent had that pretty much on lock. He did a very good job defensively of stopping any QB run I attempted any raps or reads or anything I wanted to do he pretty much did a solid job of being able to stop it immediately and these type of plays are very very tough to stop but he pretty much had it on lock so uh, which pretty much had me going more deeper into my playbook considering that you know having a mobile QB using Carolina playbook is a very very oh right there just a bad read by me caught me off guard running man to me i was expecting zone i had no man beaters on the field he called me to me like i said just blank just completely caught me off guard and i end up throwing an interception and that's no good that's no bueno you know giving extra possessions back to my opponent is never a good thing so right here he's standing inside the pocket he goes deep oh web drops the interception Right now, it's third and 17. If we could get him to a fourth down, which would be huge, that's exactly what happened. So, fourth and 17, and my opponent decides to play smart, pump me the ball back. So, it's like the interception never happened. But, unfortunately, I have to work my way downfield again. I was already in the red zone. I was already in a good spot, and I have to work my way downfield again. So, hopefully, I can go ahead and do that. And, you know, like I said, having a mobile QB is just preferred by majority of people and myself. Uh, because like I said, it, it gives you more just mobility. You know, if things break down, worst case scenario, you can run outside the pocket and try and make things happen. Right there, we end up getting a broken tackle, but it doesn't matter. He ends up stopping that. Like I said, I continue to try to see if I can get away with some runs, but he just did a very, very good job containing it. Right there, we hit him with the skinny right over the middle of the Smith. And we end up picking up the first down. Ray Rice, I try to get loose. 
you know, he's a big part of my offense. I've only rushed the ball twice with him in the first quarter, so I want to be able to make sure I put the ball in his hands more often. I cannot continue to play the game and not put the ball in Rice's hands and think I'm going to continue to be, not not even continue because I haven't done it yet, but, you know, be successful without having Ray Rice in my game plan. Right there, I tried to hit him with the skinny over the middle, but he read it, you know, just nice read by me. He baited me. You look at the play, if you rewind it, he went inside and then come back outside. Good play by him. He just completely baited the hell out of me. Right here, he catches me off guard with the QB. I mean, not with the QB, with the uh, screenplay. And if you look, I just ran all the way to the right. I didn't even see it. I had no idea it was coming. Good play call by him. Big sack right there by Elam, forcing the second and long. And it's such a big thing not to be able to have Gronkowski to worry about. Right here, he throws on the run and another drop interception. I'm like, come on, guys. We got to be able to get these opportunities. Right here, he runs outside the pocket. He's standing, he's going, he doesn't know what to do. He throws a rubber ducky, quack, quack. And I'm sorry, son, but don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody, please, give that gentleman a link to my channel. And let him know, do not throw the ball my way. Here I am continuing to try some read options and wraps to see if I can get Taylor Lewis. He's got good speed. I want to be able to get him on the outside, but it's just not working. Right here, we end up going to Smith over the middle. So now it's like, okay, he's adjusting to these plays very well. I got to be able to just stay away from those. Try to sprinkle them in, but for the most part, try and stay away from them. Let's work on the run game. Let's work on getting Ray Rice involved more on the offense and see if it'll you know, open up the, the playbook for us. Right here, we go to screenplay where Ray Rice, he breaks the tackle. Gives me fourth and inches, which I do decide to go for. Thankfully, we end up converting with only one minute left before halftime. This is a very important drive right here. So we end up running back to Ray Rice, and he is making plays in the outside. He's so strong, though. Not going down. Giving me my first score of the game. And like I said, Madden is a big game of adjustments. Since he's doing a great job of locking up anything I'm trying to do with uh, running the ball. Taylor, like I said, I got to be able to put the ball in Rice's hands. You know, he's my best playmaker. I will be able to hopefully feed him more often and be successful through him. So, big return by him, putting him at the 50-yard line. Nice little throw to the outside right there. Gets himself huge, huge gain. And that right there is definitely frustrating. He's letting a drag route go for 49 yards. So, he's on the one-yard line with 20-some-odd seconds left. And he ends up scoring a touchdown. So, that right there is let you know it's an authentic Mr. Golden Spurs production. We gave up a touchdown before halftime. So it's 14 to 7. We have ball. We have 20 seconds left with two timeouts to see if we can move the ball downfield and make something happen. A field goal would be key. I would love a touchdown, but let's just work on trying to get into field goal range, uh, you know, to try and score before the half ends. So second down, we're standing in the pocket. We're trying to go for a... A streak, but that just doesn't work out. So now it's third and ten. We don't get this. It's fourth down, and we're gonna have to put the ball back, being so close to his end zone. That's exactly what happens. He forces a fourth down, and he's got my offense just locked up. I'm struggling right now. I'm passing way more than I need to be. I'm not giving the ball to Ray. I'm just not having a good offensive game plan. I'm coming out passing way too strong, considering I have one of the better running backs in the game. So I'm just not playing. To the strength of the Ravens. And that right there is just no bueno. So starting the second half. It's like okay let's relax. Let's calm down. Let's put the ball in Ray Rice's hands. And let's be able like I've been trying to do. Like I've been trying to say to myself. I should say because I haven't been doing it. Is move the offense through Ray Rice. And let's run the ball. And hopefully it'll open up the passing lane. So uh, right here quick little pass to Jones. And we end up picking up the first down. Uh, first and ten right here. We're standing in the pocket. We're looking. We end up going back to the skinny. The Thompson picking up the first down. And, you know, right now I'm using the... I, I came out in, in halftime knowing I want to give Ray Rice the ball. So, I'm like, you know, let me see if I can get some affecting passing plays, which should hopefully be able to open up the running lanes for Rice because he's doing a very good job of stopping. Oh, look at Stokely breaking tackles. That gentleman is way too strong. That man brushes his teeth with pig feet. That man has way too much protein in his body. He is just breaking tackles. Stokely came through with a big touchdown. So, like I said, I want to run the offense through Ray Rice, but I've been pretty much unsuccessful uh, running and passing. So, it's like, you know what? Let's put the ball in Ray Rice's hands, but let's see if we can go on ahead hopefully open up the game let's see if we get some passes in which should be able to hopefully open up the running lanes because i want to be able to predominantly run the ball 
and I feel like passing the ball successfully is going to be able to help me do that. So uh, right here, hits me with a play action. Thankfully, we hit him as he was about to throw. Third and five right here. We're trying to hawk the middle. We're trying to hawk the middle. Oh, my God. I was just a second over. I was just, oh, my God. I was one second ahead of the pass, and that right there was frustrating. I knew he wanted to go to the middle. He had two drags over the middle, one short and one deeper drag. And I was just a second over the pass. So, uh, third and long right here. He's standing on the pocket. He goes right. He throws it right to me. He throws right at me. And there was two people in that uh, area. And I just chose the wrong person to guard. He threw it right at me. And he got away with it. 21 to 14. We're down seven. And I have been struggling offensively. But, I mean, so has he. You know, I've been able to force a couple of uh, stops. So, uh, you know, but I, I can't bank on that forever. I need to be more consistent on offense. Right here, we start the drive with Ray Rice. And whoop, excuse me. So now I got touchdowns to score. And he could go uh, the way. And Ray Rice ends up scoring a touchdown just like that. And I know for a fact, passing the ball effectively last drive allowed me to be able to come out in a run play and be able to just have a huge game. Right here, I'm like, come on, man. He keeps on moving. Just staying down so I can recover. So I can get the ball back. So 21 to 21. We're back on defense. We're back up against his offense. Uh, right here, he goes to me with a streak. And he ends up dropping that. And we end up getting to second and 10 right here. And as you see, he's running. He's passing the ball primarily. Very heavy, uh, pass heavy offense, which you expect when you're going up against a team such as the Patriots. Right there, hits me with a bubble screen. He is killing me. With these screens, man. So first and ten right now. He's just moving the ball, and uh, I'm really not having an answer for him. You know, he keeps attacking the middle, and he, he just ah right here he decides to throw the ball out of bounds, forcing a third down. And I've given up, you know, too many third down conversions. Let's see if we can actually come through. And another third down conversion. He comes through, and it's frustrating, man. You hold somebody. It's like one stop could put him in a situation where I could possibly get the ball back, and I don't make the play. So. Definitely frustrating. So 28 to 21. Fourth quarter is here. I'm down seven. And it's been just a scrap of a game. We've both been scrapping. We've both had trouble moving the ball at times. We've both had trouble defensively. You know, but right now he has the lead. So all right here, we try to hit him with a play action. And we end up going over the middle to Stokely. Stokely has been a big part of my offense, man. He's been doing very well for me offensively. We go back to the play action and we end up finding an open uh, Smith. And the play action is, is doing work for us right now. So we continue to go back to the play action. This has been successful for us. We hit Stokely over the middle. And, you know, we moved the ball downfield in quick uh, three plays. Right there, I had the outside wide open, but he catches me with the toe tackle. We decided to go back. I'm like, come on, don't dive, don't dive, get in the end zone. And I can't do anything, man. He's got these wraps on lock. Right now, for our third down, we decide to uh, see if we can catch him off guard with the run. Doesn't work. Uh, we decide to try and go for it, and we end up getting Stokely in the end zone. 28 to 28, we end up tying the game, and that was huge. Me not trusting my defense, that's why I did not want to go for it uh, for a field goal. So right now, he has the ball. Three minutes left. He calls a screenplay, and we end up breaking that up. So 28 to 28, I'm nervous. I'm on defense. I'm like, come on, let's see if we can get a stop. We get a huge sack. Third and 18, let's see if we can come through with the stop. He's standing in the pocket, and wide open on the left is just a butt naked wide receiver usually you got to pay 75 dollars an hour to see somebody that butt naked he's milking the clock on me he's already in field goal range two minute warning has passed now i'm forced to use my timeouts to see if i can get the ball back <coughs> excuse me so that's what i gotta end up doing i gotta end up seeing if i can get the ball back so of course he winds the time down I'm trying to conserve one timeout to give me a third and four i call the timeout because the first down game is over and that's exactly what happens he gets the timeout. I mean, he gets the first down. There's nothing I can do. All he has to do is waste time to get himself in field goal, a field goal. And there's nothing I can do. I only have one timeout left. There's nothing I can do. After this play, I'm forced to call a timeout. All he has to do is kneel it and kick a game-winning field goal. And there's nothing I can do. So, of course, he comes out in QB kneel. And you guys are thinking, how am I going to get the ball back? What am I going to do to get the ball back so it's third and nine all he has to do is run a play i don't have any time i slept 40 seconds remaining he calls the qb kneel only way i get the ball back is if he misses the field goal or if i block his field goal 
Or if he makes a mistake and calls a field goal, which he does, a blown whistle stops the clock. All he had to do was wind the clock down, then select the field goal. But he selected the field goal immediately, allowing me to go off sides and stop the clock, giving me 30 seconds to try and go downfield and make something happen. And I was thinking, please call field goal. Please call field goal. Don't wait. Pick it, pick it, pick it. And he picked field goal. And I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I needed. So he puts me back in his game by making a crucial mental error. He should know a blown whistle stops the clock. So 20 seconds left. Let's see if I can move downfield and be able to tie this game. We hit him with the skip, but we drop the ball. I have a dominant kicker in tuck with a strong leg. I need to get a field goal. There's no timeouts. I'm looking. I go back over the middle. And I hit him with the skinny. And I end up getting a field goal range. 10 seconds left. This is the world record for longest field goal for NFL. This is a 63 yarder. I need to kick it at 100% in order to make it. Time is ticking. I need to kick a 63 yard field goal for overtime. I kick the ball. And it's 100%. Hmm, hold on. Yeah, how you doing, baby? I'm that dude. I'm that dude. You want a you want a hot dog? You want me to get you a long wiener? You know what I'm saying? Want me to get you a foot long? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Only five dollars for this foot long. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Forget you then, skank. Get you then. What? You what? You saw something? You ain't seen nothing. Where you running? Huh? Where you running to? Where? Slow ass. Huh? You think you saw something? Huh? Y'all ain't seen nothing. Huh? You saw something? You saw? Oh, the cops saw something. The ball is in the air. Doesn't have enough leg. And we make it. We make it. And we tie the game. And we are going in all the time. It's 31 to 31. I can believe that I made that kick on the PlayStation with this built in lag. A 63 yarder, but he's in the away team. With the coin toss glitch, he's sure to get the ball, but he doesn't get the coin toss right, giving us the opportunity to win this game. And I couldn't believe that I put myself in a position to go into overtime. I was on the 46 yard line. I said, the hell with it, let me try a field goal. 63 yards. If I was anything but 100% on that kick, there was no way I was making it. I was even shocked that I even made it, even though I kicked it at 100%. So right now I'm in the overtime and I, I can't believe it. It all started with him making a mental error. Please remember that a blown whistle stops the clock. So wind the time down and then select field goal. So him making that mental error, I'm able to capitalize on it. And this is the opportunity for me to win this ball game. Am I going to be able to come through in the clutch and put this game away? So right now in second and inches, we try a fullback dive and we get the first down. First and go, we want to put this ball in the end zone. We try to QB uh, wrap right here, and I finally get some positive yards on it. Second and four, as you see, A rushes for 11 yards. He's had Taylor bottled up all game long. We try the quick little one to Ray Rice, and we get the first down. We can smell the end zone. Why don't we go to Ray Rice? Oh, excuse me, son. I got touchdowns to score, and we win the game in overtime. Oh, my god what a game what a finish you guys have no idea the emotion i felt playing this game it all started i had no timeouts with 40 seconds remaining on third down so I i'm sorry on fourth down he comes out and selects field goal immediately, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe he's doing this. This is such a crucial mistake. This is such a huge mistake by him. And we capitalize on it, and we get a 63-yard field goal to put the game in overtime as time expires. You guys don't know how pumped I was. I couldn't believe I made that kick. 63 yards yards on the 46 yard line i was surprised that i even put it at 100 percent then i was shocked that i made it i couldn't believe it one hell of a game hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as i did playing it editing it putting it together as always 
It's your boy GS man. Hope you guys were entertained with the video. I lost my voice damn near commentating a 20 minute video. Love each and every single one of you guys. It's your boy GS and I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby. You hear me? I'm losing my voice, man. But it's one hell of a game, though.